students in continuation of the past that is the elimination types of the reactions previous lecture when we completed the parts of this is the sets of elimination sets of elimination hopman exhaustive elimination reaction hopman rules hopman rules hopman exhaustive elimination and hopman elimination reactions here we discuss in the part of this is the pyrolytic elimination what do you mean by the pyrolytic elimination we are the starting we are the molecules for this is not oxygen containing so that is Uh, oxygens which are having this C double bond O is here and this is the R group is here. So this is the second year as you can see this ester is there ester. We can take this ester instead of oxygen we can take this is the sulfur atom. Then we call this is the second year. We call this is the second year. So this is the what we have this hydrogen atom is here. So this uh, low pair of electrons have a tendency to take the proton and this what as you can see this is the sign elimination. It can be sign elimination. So this, as uh, you can see, this intramolecular, intramolecular proton abstraction is there. R group and this one is the R dash is here. So whatever this formation of the carbon-carbon double bond is R one and this one is R. This R and this R dash is here. So this one hydrogen atoms and hydrogen atoms. So loss of these types of the reactants which is this R C O O H. This R C is there. This is R C O O H. So this formation of the alkene, this types of the alkene, as you can see, unsaturated hydrocarbons. This is called a sign product. This is sign elimination is takes place. That's why we call this alkene. Starting reactant molecules. The starting reactant molecule got a ester. With the starting reactant molecule ester, this intramolecular, as you can see, intramolecular, intramolecular proton transfer. This what uh, abstraction is there. So this intramolecular proton abstraction and the formation of unsaturated hydrocarbon that is alkene. And this is the acid. I just start acid with the uh, side product. So actually, we are if we want to uh, if we are in starting reactant molecule, this uh, uh, is there. Then formation of alkene, the sign product is formed. Uh, again, if you can take instead of oxygen, you can take sulfur. So this is called a zante. It is called a what? Zante. So this zante, it is actually this is a derivative of the uh, ester. Is ester uh, acid uh, acid? We can say this is a derivative of acid ester and uh, uh, anhydride as well as amide. So again, this formation of what R C O S H is there. Uh, so this is called a thio acid. It is called the thio acid is formed. So again, what again this is the intramolecular proton abstraction is there. Intramolecular what proton abstraction and sign elimination reaction is takes place. As again, this is the sometimes called E I elimination is there. E I elimination. So as you can say, ester as well as anthe. Uh, instead of the sulfur, as you can say, this is the sulfur as well as nitrogen atom is also here. Nitrogen and here oxygen. So this NH atom is there. So the end formation of our RCO NH2. This is what formation of the side product is our RCO NH2. That is the amide formation of here is the amide. Uh, not only this uh, a cyclic, but also uh, we can take this is the cyclic molecules, cyclic uh, compound, cyclic reactor. If you are having these types of the compound, that is the this nitrogen containing uh, this alkyl group is here. This oxygen atom is here. Nitrogen one, two, three, four. Nitrogen atom, this positively charged, and one hydrogen atoms. So whatever here one two, and this is the one two position. As you can say one two. So as we are having these types of the carbon, uh, this oxygen atom is having low pair of electron or negatively charged. They are negatively charged, having the tendency to take the proton from these types of the carbon. Uh, and this bond is shifted over here. Then what? Whatever. There again, you know, sign elimination is takes place, and then formation of the product is called. Uh, it is called the intramolecular. As you can see, this formation of the cyclohexene. Alkene is there. This is the product name is called cyclohexene. Cyclohexene. And this is called nitrogen. This two alkyl group and one of the hydroxy group is here. So there is formation of such types of the uh, side product is here, and this formation of what a uh, cyclohexene and the sign elimination is takes place. If you are the starting reactant molecule, another starting reactant molecule instead of oxygen, we can take the sulfur sulfur atom also here. This formation of the SH types of the uh, nucleus. If we are having the starting reactant molecule, that is the carbon carbon double bond actually here is here. And the, if you can take this carbon carbon double bond is here, CH3 atoms and this sulfur atoms. As you can say, this sulfur oxygen sorry, for this oxygen and this one is the sulfur atom is here. If you have this sulfur atoms, I mean tendency what this sulfur atoms which are contain the low pair of electrons attack on this types of the carbon and this loss of this oxygen atom. Then whatever this is the alkyl group is as it is here formation the double bond and this is the sulfur as you can say this atoms. Uh, as you can say, the sulfur atoms 
Here sulfur, this oxygen atoms, and this low bare oxygen atoms having this negatively charged and having tendency to take the proton from these types of the carbon. And this is what it going to the formation of what this sulfur, which are having this positive. If we are, if we are these types of the atoms or cobalt atoms, this bonded to the sulfur directly bonded to here. And this sulfur having this positively charged oxygen atoms having tendency to take the proton from this oxygen from this carbon atom because of this nucleophilic in nature, then whatever, very important, very important, here formation of what, unsaturated compound, that is the carbon-carbon double bond here. So there is formation of the, again, these types of the species, again, because this is the intramolecular, intramolecular hydrogen abstraction uh, elimination. As you can say, intramolecular hydrogen abstraction, olefination is there. So this is called as what? Pyrolytic elimination. Sometimes if you are in the static reactor molecule, you got a, uh, this Hoffman exhaust elimination, this is called as the Hoffman exhaust elimination, this beta. So this one alpha carbon, this one is the beta carbon, this beta carbon having this pro proton abstraction. Then this is the called as beta elimination. But this is called as beta elimination. But these types of the reactant species, we call, this is the 2,3 shifting, as you can say, 2, 3 elimination, 2, uh, 3 elimination, as well as in the uh, types of the uh, spericyclic reaction. So that is the 2, 3 shifting, as you can say, this is 1, 3 shifting, as you can say, 1, 5 shifting, and 1, 1, 1 7 shifting. So, like that, we call this is the 1, 2, 3 elimination reaction, 1, 3 elimination reaction. So, actually, this pyrolytic elimination as the part of uh, this is the hydrogen abstraction, sine 